Hi Tony Janice, just a quick video showing you through the controls of your new motorhome. So the screen on the left, that's the main uh, control panel to see how everything is in the back, in the, in the uh, motorhome itself, like battery conditions, etc. Turning on the power, the 12 volt power water pump. The control unit on the right is purely for the hot water and heating within the motorhome. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you what you would do to empty the boiler first, so we're starting from fresh. Okay, so we know from yesterday that the boiler's full of water. Underneath the bed, you can see the yellow valve there. Just pull that valve up, and you can probably hear the water draining out to the van now. Okay, so that what that's what you would do when you're not going to use the vehicle for a while, and always when you're laying up for the winter. We don't want to leave water in a tank that can freeze and crack it. So what I'm going to do now is put it back down. So now it's in the closed position. Now it's sealed off, so it will fill with water when we put the pump on. So there I've got the lead plugged into the side of the motor and pushed all the way in. The blue little lever to the left here, that's when you pull it out. Press that down and pull the connection out. So now we're powered up to the motor home. Inside the motor home to the main power supply unit, we make sure the charge button is pressed and while we're here we're going to put on the uh, space heater and water heater okay but before I put the water heater on I'm going to be double sure that I've got water in the boiler okay and we do that by the following routine okay back at the control panel power on that's a 12 foot volt system turned on. Put the pump on. You can hear it pressurising the system. You can see we've got fresh water in the tank, it's 50% full. So we go to any tap, kitchen or bathroom or shower, doesn't really matter. Put it to cold water first. Turn it on and there you've got a continuous flow of water. Turn it off. Turn it to hot. And there you can see it's filled. Now sometimes when you fill the hot, uh, the boiler for the first time, it will splutter and, and throw the air out and you'll think something's gone wrong. Just let it throw, flow through until you get a continuous flow of water. Turn that off. So now we know for sure the boiler's full of water. So we can go back to the control panel turn the water heater button on. Now those two buttons don't turn the water or the or the heating in the motor home on, they just enable you to use the other control near the door. Okay back at the control panel we've got the power on, we've got the pump on, we know we've got fresh water in the water tank and we know we've, there's water in the boiler. So now we're in position to move to the Trumi Combi control and turn on the heating and the hot water from this control panel. Turn it on, the first symbol flashes. Press the button, it's telling you that the uh, the heating, the symbol is a motor home with a thermometer in the middle, so you know that's the heating, just cycle through it, the temperature's going up, it's going to achieve, about 30 is the maximum, press the button, that's set the temperature for the heating. We now go to the second button, it's a thermometer in water, so you know that's a water heater, it's showing off. It can be 40 or 60. We'll put it on 60 for this experiment. And now we need to pick the source of the power. It can be gas, electric or both. So I've rolled it over again, the power symbol's flashing. Press the button, it's on gas. We're not going to use gas for this experiment. We're just going to move it over. Mixture 1 and mixture 2, we're not going to go there. Electric one, we're going to electric two. Just for the, this demonstration, no other reason. Now we're set. So we know we've turned the heating on, we turn the hot water on at 60, and we're using gas. So just let it do its thing now. And on electric, it will take a while to, to develop any heat. Um, gas is quicker. Um, and the reason I've done it on electric, because I showed you it on gas. Uh, I'll show you the effect of the gas when you came to look at the motor and you can see how hot it was after such a, such a short time. It'll take a lot longer in electric but it'll show what happens. Okay and just one thing I forgot to mention there. If we go to the control panel again 
um, I didn't go through the fan so if we cycle to the fan flashing fan it can be high eco or boost so if put it on boost now you can probably hear it in the background but if we go down to the so now we're just starting to feel warm uh, coming through one of the channels okay